channel so today I came up with um, well I found this list online of questions that you should talk about before you actually have the baby a bunch of questions came up like before you get pre what you should talk about before you get pregnant but yeah, obviously we're, past we're already past that yeah. so we're gonna talk with you guys a little bit about some different topics that you're supposed to discuss beforehand I think we're on the same page with most of it but um, I guess we'll see Okay, so some of these things are really small and some of them are really serious. Okay. And some of them I have no clue about, so we'll find out. Okay, so the first thing, I honestly haven't even thought about this at all. Starting off with a serious one. Circun circumcision. That's not serious. Come on, what's the question? What do you think? What do you want to be? So, circumcised, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't thought that was C-section. Yeah, circumcision. Absolutely. absolutely. Circumcision. I couldn't say it right. Absolutely. Okay, so definitely circumcised. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's cool. I think it's better. We'll find out. I don't okay. know. Okay, we have a name picked out. It's but not changing. I think it would be fun to hear your suggestions. If you guys have suggestions, just comment them below. Because I'm just curious to see what you guys would think would be good. No Walters, Toms, Tims, John. Something unique. But some of you already know the name. We've told a few people. But, um... We are having a boy, if you don't know this yet, and we have a name picked out that we're pretty sure about 100%, you think? Yeah. What, what Unless you, you come up with a great name, I might change it. Okay, yeah. It had to be unique and great. Comment below if you can come up with a name. Vaccinations. This is actually something I've been wanting to talk to you about. I don't know. So I think whenever, you, whenever the baby's born, they give them like a bunch of vaccinations. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do that, but you should, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Whatever's best for the baby. Like, they're all going to say that it's best, but... We'll have to just research. I've never researched that, so I don't know. And I don't want to give an answer and be like, yeah, so I know that no vaccinations are great. No, I don't know, so... What did you guys do? So, I had a friend who told me that they actually didn't do like the initial just all the vaccinations in one they like did it over time kind mm -hmm. of on their own time as the baby was kind of growing mm -hmm. but some people are like yes like all the vaccinations do it right away i don't know let me know what you guys think about that too a lot of this video is going to be let us know what you think conquering bad habits as far as us or the baby us mm -hmm. so like it says maybe your partner is a smoker and doesn't want to quit but you want him to any kind of bad habit could cause issues down the line. Discuss. Mm -hmm. So. So definitely, definitely, I would want my son. He's gonna mimic what I do. So any bad habits we have, we need to kick out before. You what know, do you so. think? Like I think for me, it would be nice for me to just like give up coffee. Like that's mm -hmm. kind of a bad habit. I think to like rely on it. I don't want to have to rely on it at all. It's my baby. Coffee's my love. I but now I give up anything that that I wouldn't want my child to do. Drinking, period. Yeah, I know, like, my parents didn't have alcohol in the house ever. Uh-uh. No, boss. Yeah, drinking or just anything that makes him think that things that I don't want him to do are okay. So, I don't really have any other bad habits. Other than that, so. What do you think about, like, music and shows? Yeah, that's, music's got to be different. I can't listen to that thuggy, thuggy, ruggy. I gotta listen to some old school jams. Um, we will listen to some rap and hip hop. I just gotta be selective on it. TV shows, same thing. Um, until he's a certain age, and I talk to him about, you know, what the rights and wrongs want to be. I mean, I think I just want to be guarded on everything that we show him. Because music and, and movies are the best way to show negativity. So, no world star for my young man. We eat out a lot, mm -hmm. and I that, think that can't happen. Yeah, that I think is, we need to eat at home a lot more. I'm a Wendy's baby, as you see. It doesn't work for you. I need an athlete. <laughs> yeah, neither one of us grew up eating like super healthy. Like our families just didn't really. I mean, we're they're busy and had stuff yeah. going on, but I would like to eat a lot more home cooked meals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Whenever we have a kid, mm -hmm. which I mean, a lot of these things, it's like doesn't change all of a sudden, which is it will. You think it will? It'll have to. Money. Do you want to do you want to talk about money in front of our kid? Yeah, we have to. Um, yeah. Just because. I mean, my parents talked to us about money, but it was more like, oh, we don't have any money in the situation. But I think even at a young age, teaching them budgeting, 
and just understanding why we don't have money because it sucks to not have money but if the kid understands that puts a little more um, respect and appreciation for me like I just didn't really understand money I still don't have a great understanding about money well, I guess I shouldn't say that because I teach a class about it but I think but it's one thing to teach it and then to actually yeah you actually use it in your life so. well and I never had to work or anything and so there was really no way that I would have known about it and that's another thing it's like I definitely want our kid to have oh yeah a job like 14 and 12, to have to work for some things that mowing lawns. He has. We'll have a clean house because he'll be cleaning, doing chores. <laughs> we no longer have to clean, which is which is awesome. That's pretty much why we're having a kid, so yeah, we don't have clean. to do housework. Tired. <laughs> clean that toilet, man. Religion. We want him to have a relationship with God. I think print, the principles that we want to teach will be taught, you know, through that as well. So I definitely I want him to to grow up, you know, with those morals and. Points. And like be in church and stuff. Yeah, we're so, we're pretty good about going to church like every Sunday, but well, that's I think, not important. It's it's not just going to church, but understanding yeah. kind of what you believe in and why you act the way you do. I want him to understand that too. And like I I think one change that I do want to make is just like being more involved mm -hmm. in the church, like not just going, because we're like I said we're consistent about going, but we're not always super involved. And mm -hmm. I think that's important, like for our kid to have that web of people that yeah. are looking out for him. Okay, this is a this is a big one. All right, discipline. In your mind, what what is discipline gonna look like? What do you think? Whatever rules or guidelines we set, he has to follow. Period. And they have to be. So the same. you think spankings? Spankings are okay. Timeout. What do you think about timeout? I don't like timeouts, but I think if you you speak to him, you teach a kid, not just punish him, but why are you getting punished? Yeah. That'll teach them. Oh, if I make that decision, then. This is gonna happen. Like I don't ever want to discipline like out of anger, but I always want it to be. I, I mean, and I know that'll happen. Yeah. Like you just get in the heat of things, but but it'll be out of love. It won't be out of anger. Yeah. Because we're not gonna. We're both of us are very loving uh, people, and not that I wouldn't be upset, but I don't. You know, that's something that I. I don't ever want to do. Uh, it's just discipline out of anger because I'm angry with something going on in my life. I don't want my emotions for all these other things that are going on to be taken out on him. And also or even like our relationship. Like I don't ever I also want don't want to have, case. I want to show my child love and that he's supported and has a good support system. Not just like, oh, we're disciplining him and we're authority, but also you're supported and we'll be there for you whenever you need us. So Yeah. In everything we're teaching him. Like, yeah. I don't want to just discipline and he doesn't even understand why he's getting in trouble or whatever, mm -hmm. but like that we take the extra time that it takes to explain why it was wrong or what they should what he should have done instead or something like that. And then she's just gonna have to know that when I want to discipline it's gotta happen. Even yeah. if she doesn't want to That's because... gonna be I can see that being an issue because like even with our dogs right now, like sometimes I've I've noticed this a lot here recently because I've been thinking about it with the kid, but like he'll discipline boss or pig and they deserve it. Like they did something but I wanna like justify it for them or like babe like that's too rough or you're you know you're being too hard on them or something and that's just with our dogs and, and so, just like the dog like, I can't do that with our kids I think if you you see something that they're doing wrong you have to catch it early um, I don't want to and that's why we kind of go back and forth because I catch it early that way it doesn't continue on Whereas she's like, oh no, it's in, in, in. like and I they, make excuses for them, like yeah. of why they're acting the way they are or something. But and that's why the they dogs, know they know right. That's why they love me more than her. Look at this, <laughs> good boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. He says, anyway, Dad. All right, go lay down. Go lay down. Food. Are we gonna allow them to have sugar, cokes? No. no. Yeah. We, one, one big thing for me we is We babysit cokes. kids one summer, niece and nephew. We gave them sugar <laughs> and they turned into monsters. So <laughs> My niece, Lainey, danced until about two four hours, in the morning. Two hours. She danced for, for yeah, so, hours straight. So grandparents, no sugar, no juices, I no mean, pops. I don't want to say no sugar, but Man, my thing is... It's a drug. Just my like thing my is caffeine, caffeine and Cokes and stuff are an absolute no until they're at a certain age. And then at that point, maybe, but I definitely want it, want them to eat pretty healthy. I want him to eat pretty healthy. Division of responsibility between us two. So 
We've talked about diapers, which you're going to have to do some diaper duty. I'll help out. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to help. I, it's my son. I'm going to do everything I can do. I'm not going to just have a son and, and you know, make you do all the work. You've got to get a rest, too. So. Cutting your son or daughter's hair. So we're having a son. So are you cool with, do, when do you want to cut his hair? Do you oh, want to no, cut his I hair? I want him to grow it out. Yeah, I know you had talked about that before. So Tavis wants our son to have long hair. Until he wants to cut it. Which, like, I didn't really like the idea of that at first, but I think it is pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Every man, for the most part, wishes they had long hair. And when you cut it early, you're like, man, I never know what I look like with long hair. So. And I think especially if our kid has, like, really curly hair, mm -hmm. that could be really cool. Yeah. But I'm anxious to see what the texture of our kid's hair is going to be like. Because his hair, I mean, you can see it's, like, pretty straight and, I don't know, just straight like, shiny and thick. And, thick. Yeah. and mine is kind of coarse in some areas and normally curly. I straightened it. But, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what our kid's hair is going to look like. Co-sleeping. Well, so co-sleeping is like the baby sleeps in our bed with us. Oh, no. But, yeah, I've read that that's dangerous. Yeah, I roll over bed. too much. You roll over too yeah. much. And we don't have a big enough bed for you and all your dang pillows. So, no, not happening. <laughs> so I'm thinking like a bassinet or something in our room for a while. And then when they get older, after a couple cool weeks, like or we'll do a crib. Older, yeah. We'll that's do cool. his crib in his room. Yeah. Well, we can keep the crib in our room too. How? Just want to be able to check up on it. I don't know how that would all fit else that you've been like thinking that we need to talk about? So one of my big things is, you know, there's things I didn't do when I was in like high school. Like I took sports seriously, but I didn't take grades. If you know me and you're a classmate, I definitely didn't take grades that seriously. Um, so it definitely made things harder for me. So I definitely want to push that. Also, like I want my child to know every musical instrument. Every I would like for a kid to be like musically because talented. When you get older, you wish you knew, or you you know you like music and you want to play. And so at a young age, I want them to be able to play every instrument, play every sport, and whichever one they like the most, they can. I just want them to be good or great at something. So if it's not sports, you know, I'll respect you, but you got to be great at something. So. I think my big thing is, like, I, I do want them to be great at something, but I also want them to be, like, really well-rounded. Mm -hmm. I think my parents did a good job of that with me. Like, I did so many different types of things that, like... I can I can find a way to be good at a lot of different things and I have a lot of different interests too which is a lot of the reason why I started YouTube is because like I'm interested and passionate about so many things mm -hmm. that I just want to like share that stuff but yep. I don't remember what we said in the last video but today we're actually at the start of week 27 my app says that our baby is as big as a cucumber so I had he's, a dream he was this big. <laughs> yeah, if, he's, if you he watch our last out, video. And I was just holding his little head. Really, it was like this. <laughs> but he was this big. I was like, dang, you ain't going to play basketball. <laughs> I have had a couple dreams about him, though. Like, like I had a dream that he came out and was a girl. Like, that I had, it was a girl. Like, they were wrong in the sonogram. But I don't think that's possible. It's, it is. Actually, it happens all the time. You should look up the percentage of that. I wouldn't be against that, though. Yeah, either way, it'd be cool. So 27 weeks, and we have 13 weeks left of pregnancy, and then we're going to have a child. All right, guys, thanks for watching our video. Um, this is... <laughs> you always got thanks for watching our video. All right, guys, thanks for watching our video. <laughs> thanks for watching our video. All right, we appreciate you watching our video. This is Vlogmas number, number two. want to have something to look back on, something for our child to look back on. Um, and then that way, you know, if something was ever happened to one of us, we have, you know, some documented footage. We're going to document kind of every day um, leading up to Christmas. And then we may even keep them going leading up to the pregnancy. Um, just showing you guys a day birth. in our life. Or birth. birth. Yeah, we're already pregnant. <laughs> to the birth. Um, just showing you guys a day in our life. So, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.